is the instruction manual of the body, and each chapter with a unique function is a gene. The DNA in genes is made of four simple DNA building blocks, abbreviated with the letters A, G, C, and T. Genes direct the production of proteins that build our bodies, help them function, and determine our traits, like how tall we are or the color of our eyes. To make proteins, the DNA in our genes needs to first be converted into another type of genetic material that the protein building machinery can read, called messenger RNA or mRNA. This process is called transcription and the mRNA serves as a mold to build proteins. Think of genes as roads and of transcription as a truck that must drive along a road or gene to collect the mold, mRNA, and carry it to the cell assembly line to build proteins. The genetic defect in all FA cells is the repetition of a DNA block, GAA, in a gene called FXN that encodes the protein for taxin. In FA cells, the GAA block is repeated hundreds of times. Hundreds of GAA repeats in the FXN gene make the DNA road difficult to travel, preventing the transcription truck from traveling along the road efficiently and delivering the mRNA mold to the protein assembly line. As a result, not enough of the Fredaxin protein is made for FA cells to function normally. A very important question in FA is how the GAA repeats reduce transcription of the FXN gene. If we fully understand the nature of this block, we might be able to find ways to remove it and open the road again to restore the production of Fredaxin. One idea is that the cell recognizes that too many GAA repeats are a problem and closes the gene by putting stop signals on it. With your contributions, Bear has assembled a group of investigators to try to understand the nature of the block, whether it is the same in all cells and tissues in the body, whether it changes with time. Dr. Sanjay Bidishandani, Dr. Merrick Napierala, and Dr. Jennifer Phillips Cremens are using iPSCs derived from patient skin cells donated by many of you and FA mouse models to answer these questions. The project we just learned about is one seed, one tool funded by your donations, championed by your engagement and your direct participation in FA research that is necessary to plant, tend, and nourish our garden of therapeutics. Thank you, FA community, for bringing us closer to treatments.